Welcome back everyone to another episode of Subnautica. Now, last episode, I worked my way all the way over here with this build and got all the way up to this point and could not get any further with it lining up correctly because of the vertical connectors and all that and the stupid mushroom coral things being in the way. And I've tried some different variations. I've tried some stuff up here to make it work, you know, in a way that looks good and I just can't get it to work. So other than using the terraforming gun, which I don't want to use because of the problems it causes with the rendering, uh, I'm just going to break this down. I've already taken out some of the vertical columns, and I'm just going to break it all the way down. I'm thinking to the multi-purpose room down there. Just break it down all the way down there because, hey, it's not that far. I can easily swim down from this point up here down to there on an, you know, even a smaller air tank and surely if they're coming here to do some research they're going to be swimming outside of the base they're going to need some air tanks that can hold a decent amount so should not be a problem which is why i've already created a basic platform here to get things started so i'm going to go ahead and do a very basic little kind of deployment location you know nothing major self-sustaining it's it's got some power everything covered it's not going to be tied in with that base in any way and we'll just have it set up and get that taken care of first today. All right, we are back and I have gotten the basic star of the base done. I've got a moon pool so you can, you know, they can dock their seamoth. It has just a connector there, connector here, because this, the multi-purpose will, will not connect that close to it. So I had to extend it out, uh, which is fine. I've got plenty of connectors down below that I'm salvaging back. So I've got those, I've got a hatch there so they can jump out, swim down. Multi-purpose room, which is going to be where they have like a bed, some food, you know, plants, things like that. And then I've given it 10 solar panels already, so it has plenty of power. I'm thinking I might actually add some lights up top just so we have like, you know, the little spotlights for protecting or, you know, at least notifying about predators. Maybe a work light pointing this way at the ship so, you know, the wreckage is illuminated at night in case they're wanting to do some night diving and night salvaging. And oh, I've got some. Uh, I've got something over there. I need to go get. Still, I have not gotten that. I also added two windows to this because with those windows, I yeah, 1.8 hull strength. So I am right there at the edge. Can't go too much further beyond that. But let's see what we got here. Oh, just a scan room fragment. I thought it was gonna be something I could pick up. Instead, it's just something I can scan to get some uh, more titanium, and I've got plenty of that down below that I'm collecting. So, yes, uh, while I've got the bleeder chasing me around, it looks like, we're gonna come in, and basically, they'll deploy in here. We're gonna have, like, uh, let's go with, uh, you know, we'll do a wall locker here. So they have some place to easily drop off some tools, and one here. Uh, we'll probably do, you know, we'll make this like the whole production thing. I'll have to go get the supplies for it, but we'll put a battery charger right here too. So they can recharge their batteries from their tools right here. Not have to worry about the ones down below. And then of course we do want some food production. I could just do the basic plants, uh, the potter, you know, the plot, the pots, plant pots. Uh, or I could do a grow bed. Grow bed gives me... You know, if we do bobo trees and lantern trees, uh, that's four, which I could just do four pots too. We'll do that. We'll do four pots and make it a little decorative. We'll put it next to their little bed area like that. Or actually, you know what? Here's what we'll do. We'll do, uh, that's just next to the middle. Got that one. We'll do one. Can I get fat? Yeah, come on. There we go. Get it close as I can. We're going to take you back. And then I'm going to line you up just a little bit more there. So that, that's kind of like, this is roughly the middle. And then we've got this here. Ah, yep. And that should still leave me enough room for a nice decorative bed. We'll do a single bed because, hey, you know, it's going to be a single person coming. Not, you know, a husband and wife type thing. So they can sleep on their own. I'll have to go get fiber mesh from the base. And I'll do some more decorating in here. Not going to add any windows or anything, just decorations. We'll have like a, we'll, let's see, maybe a desk for, you know, after hours. They they want to sit there and work, and we don't need them talking to anybody. So we could put the desk kind of up to the wall. 
and the chair up to it. Well, yeah, we'll go with a swivel chair. We'll be nice about it. And I'm not going to have it like perfectly set. We won't have it feel like somebody, you know, sat down at recently. They got up. They spun it around just a little bit. There we go. Nice. Nice. We'll have a little counter and I'm out of titanium so I can go get some more from below now. And we'll have a little lab counter here. I get lined up. There we go. So we'll have like a lab counter there. Some maybe some shelves. Decorative stuff. Just make it look good. And so I need fiber mesh. I need my plants for right here. I need some titanium and I need stuff for making the battery charger. Let's see with the wiring kit and copper wire. So I will be back shortly from my other base. So I am back and I have already put in the battery charger. I have already done a little bit of the fishing up the decorations. Now I'm not sure if I want to do shells here or along the sides. I'm kind of thinking actually I've got some more of the uh, pieces from down below taken out. I've got Got my, that mostly done now. So I'm thinking we'll do nice green wall planter. Just, you know, some foliage. Make it look a little bit nicer in here. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, uh, we'll do a set of shells. Because, hey, he might, you know, he, she might need to put something up temporarily while they're here. We've got that taken care of. I've got my grow beds going. Oh, and why not make things a little bit more uh you know cozy we'll have ourselves a little trash can you know not next to the bed ne actually we'll do it right here because next to the bed if you throw something smelly in it you, you, you're gonna be stuck smelling that all night so no we'll do that hopefully they'll remember to empty the trash before they leave i also brought supplies because i think what i want to do is we'll do yes a nice sign here and this is going to say uh, <laughs> big sign. Don't forget your tools. I can't. All right, we'll do that. I will have to go get some more copper real quick because I want to have this. And that's 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 lined up wrong. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this. That I'm gonna have to go get our some more copper, make some more copper wire real quick. Oh, and you know what? I forgot. I do need to probably have a fabricator here. <laughs> as well so i will have to go grab some other stuff real quick too all right so i got the fabricator up and thanks to the location i actually have access to you know a lot of little outcroppings so i was able to get gold and copper silvers things like that but i've got the first sign up let's go ahead and enlarge it and yes it does go from the middle which helps so do not forget okay oh yeah no, no, no. Actually, I like the board. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to have to kind of, you know, eyeball this a bit. Like that. Because it will expand upwards, too. All right, that's close enough. Your tools. Yay! Do not forget your tools. So you come in here. Oh, crap. Can't forget my tools. So you got your fabricator for making things. Battery charger for letting things charge overnight. You've got two lockers for putting in tools, and then you hop in your sea moth and head back. Or, you know, grab your tools when you come in and go there. And then this is all living quarters. We've got that. And I also have something else. I've decided we're going to add something interesting, something I don't usually use in the game. And where we're going to put this? We'll put it in. We'll do it right here. So, eh. There. Okay. A vending machine! Yes, they have good edible food, or will have good edible food over there. But, you know, maybe they, they're not, you know, about that. They want a nice, tasty little bag of chips or something like that. And we're going to have a coffee vending machine right here, too. So you come up be like, you know what? I need to pick me up. Long day in the office of the Mushroom Caves. I need a little bit of coffee before I sit down and do my reports. Uh, and then, you know, they got the lab table here for dealing with specimens, things like that. And speaking of, maybe I should put like a, uh, well, no, we've got, we've got stuff down below. That's where they can do that. They could tie in with the base below, but basically they come in here, they, you know, get their stuff and they're like, all right, Hey, I'm going down. And they probably could, you know, carefully squeeze through with the sea moth to get down here if they really wanted to, but basically they'll just swim down. Sea glide, no sea glide, should have enough air to get down here. And then they'll pop in and be like, hey, I'm here. 
And I am ready to go down this long tunnel, getting a nice view on the way before I get to the end and talk to the dude that's actually running the place and, you know, get a progress report, see what he needs me to help research. And then, you know, I'll come back and I'll be doing like, oh, look at that. Oh, those mushrooms. I need to go down there and check them out. And then they'll run over here to one of the exits of this one or the other multi-purpose room, jump out and go do some testing, sample gathering, whatever. And I'll add some stuff down here. Like here, they'll, they'll have like a, you know, battery charging station or something like that. Some kind of thing they can do here. Maybe, maybe not. We really don't need it. They could come down here and be like, ah, I want a piece of that. Yay. There we go. All right. Got a piece of the glowy, glowy little mushroom and coming up here, uh, which really from this point, they don't have to come here. They just be like, all right, you know what? Never mind. I'm just swimming straight back up. I'm done for the day. I'm going to go do my research back here uh, on my little lab table. You know, I've got my little specimens and I'm just going to sit up here and hang out by myself for the night work on my specimens and then in the morning you know after i you know oh yeah specimens done all right time to go to bed wake up in the morning and be like ah oh, ah oh, that was a good night's sleep all right let me get my specimens time to oh yeah wait gotta grab my coffee before i go get my pick me up and now it's time to load up in my sea moth head back over to you know the big base over there where the neptune rocket is or you know wherever else that's probably going to be the big base I may do like another big research facility somewhere else, but that's going to be like the command base, the, you know, the main area where everything is controlled and decided what's done. So we'll have like the little, where is it? The base over there, that's like a waypoint. We'll have these little stations. We'll have this base down in there. I've got the lava zone, stopping point, all sorts of stuff. But that will be the main one where they, uh, you know, go back to with all the research. And of course, if they decide, hey, I've had enough of this place, let me go home. There's a rocket there, take them home. So now all I have to do is, of course, let these grow as you know they slowly do. And I think this actually works. I really don't feel like putting in a Markiplier doll on this base. I think I, I like it just you know simple like this and straightforward. So now uh, I think I've got some supplies left. Yeah, I've got a few pieces. I can head back. Well, uh, I'll, I'll go see what I've got ready to go. I don't think I have quite that much glass at the moment to start the next link of tubing on the, the mushroom base. But I do have enough. I could probably go ahead and get a little bit started. And oh, hey, we're right over here next to one of the life pod piece, you know, crash life pods. And let me see, where is it? Somewhere, I think right over here. I think it's this spot here, little glowy. No, somewhere over here, there is another spot that connects directly to where my little uh, base is down there with the scanner room. And that's useful too. Though I don't know if I want to actually build a base right here. I think this is it. I think this is the spot. I believe it's the spot. It looks, yeah, it's got glowy mushrooms. So we're, here we are. So this actually comes right down here to the <laughs> to my base really like you'll see just how close like bam right on top of it so i am considering doing this as a t section and coming out with a piece that comes up this way uh but at the same time i don't know if i'm gonna do that i may just save this i may do like little base platforms and make this where you can actually deploy in the um prawn suit make it where the prawn suit can drop down because it is kind of risky it jumps you straight down here to the hot magma zone with the, the little uh, bubbles where, you know, I got cooked alive before. So maybe not the best thing to just deploy a prawn suit and fall straight down. But there is this entrance. Maybe use it, maybe not. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and try to get back, see what I've got in stock uh, in terms of my resources, see what we maybe could go ahead and get started on the next section of the base today. All right, I am here and I've used the last of my supplies for making glass right now up to get another five sections on this. And I think I'm going to be able to get maybe a few more. I mean, I've got a few sections from that point to the end plus the curve. I'm going to count out a couple more, make sure I've got the right amount. Then I'll add, of course, the regular T section or regular eye section, sorry, and keep going in that direction. This one 
Should be a much straighter shot in the end until I have to curve around a big section of wall. But what I have also been able to go ahead and get done with a few other parts of this is when you come in, be sure to undergo full decontamination procedure upon entry, which I guess means, you know, stripping off your clothes that are supposed to be, you know, handled. I, I might come up with some kind of something here that can look like it's a decontamination thing. I'll probably put it over there. I've got to toy around with some of the uh, options here, see if I can come up with something like this is the decontamination, you know, station kind of thing. And then you'll, you'll have the bulkhead closed. Then I've already got my plants growing, of course. I have got my water filtration all nice and done. I have got my bioreactor in place since last episode, I believe. And I have not done the alien containment up here yet. I'm kind of waiting on that because I'm not sure if I want to have it where if needed, they, there's emergency power you're required, go out and just grab some Oculus because, I mean, they're all around, really. Uh, <laughs> they really are, you know, like right here. In this section, they're easy to find. It used to be they weren't this easy. Pre-release, you might find two of them uh, down in this area it, with a half hour of searching. And now it's like you come towards the middle and they're just all over the place. Uh, if you could catch one. There we go. Oh, oh. did I go inside? I kind of went inside. Look, egg. There's an egg. Because I can't scan it. I can't grab it. That's a cheat. I am cheated. I, I don't like that. That's not fair. I can see the egg. Why can't I not grab the egg? I know what the crab snake thingies are going in there to protect now. But yes, I may still put in the um, alien containment just for the fact that if I go and you know find like a crab snake egg out there be kind of nice to throw one in there let it hatch and mature be like a study specimen be kind of cool to have like your own little crab snake to study and but that's pretty much it this is actually looking pretty good you know i don't i'm gonna add some lab equipment here go out and find it i know there's a couple of wrecks that should have some stuff i should be able to get some more i think i've got some extra lab equipment at the original base too i can bring down and oh yeah i've got this so i can see here be creature egg and go find my creature eggs that I need. And oh, there's one right nearby. It looks like, I think, I, I should still have my uh, heads up display upgrade. Yes, we've got a creature egg. Let's see if it is a crab snake egg, which it looks like it is. It's inside. No. I, can I go in the top and grab it? Uh, it's funny the other one's not picking up. Yes, I can just come inside and get it. Oh, easy enough. Oh, look, it's got the other one, or uh, no, another one marked there. There it is. Yes, yeah, so I, I found one by accident. You can't just bro go inside and grab them. So there's two craft snake eggs, assuming that this one is not about to go inside and try to protect it. I'm gonna. I'm still in your egg. I'm still in your egg. Watch, it'll come like. Oh, he did swim kind of like right past me. I was waiting for him to just come inside and be like, ha, 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 I got you. Oh, he's mad. I took his egg or her egg, whichever. I don't know anymore. But okay, so now I do have a reason to build an alien containment here. So I guess I'll be adding that for next episode and putting these eggs to use where they can hatch in size. Oh, you know what? Where's my storage? I never put storage up here. I need to put some storage in. I need to put up some storage so I have a place for, you know, personal effects. It only makes sense. But, okay, I've got some extra things I need to add. I'll put this for here. You know, there we go. And I probably should turn off the scan so I don't have eggs popping up everywhere. But that that's going to be it. I need to go and gather a lot of supplies now again. I've got to go gather so much quartz and turn it into so much glass. Not just for the little bit I use for the alien containment, but for the massive run of glass tubes I'm going to have to do again. Because when I came in, as you can see there, it's, you know, 435, 434 meters from this point. So adding this, I'm not sure like what the, the actual length is. That's 426. Uh, so that's roughly about the end there. 431, so five meters each. 
I've got to go over 400 meters. So that's over 80 connectors right there, just in a straight line. That's a lot of glass connectors. That's, you know what, um, 80 of them, two glass each, 160 glass, and each glass takes two quarts. <laughs> oh no, I am feeling bad for myself now because I've got a massive amount of glass to be gathering or quartz to be gathering and turning into glass. So I'm going to be having a bunch of containers full of glass ready to go next week for me to start bringing down in my trusty sea moth here. And I'll go ahead and try to get a few more sections going. I don't have to do all glass. I will have some sections for reinforcements. So that does help a bit with just titanium and lead or titanium and lithium. Uh, which I should still have plenty of lithium at the moment. But yeah, I've got all that going. We're, we're doing pretty good on power. But yeah, I've got a lot to do to gather. I've got plenty of glass I need to get going and get prepared for that. So this is going to be fun this week. But that is going to be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.